Hello class and congratulations on winning your shaving cream party. Now this is not just going to be a party where we play with shaving cream. No, we are going to make beautiful works of art with the shaving cream. To do it, you're going to need four pieces of white paper, a pencil to write your name and code on the back of each one, a tray with lovely fun shaving cream, some food coloring in blue, red, yellow, and green. A fork to do some color swirling in this fun stuff. And a ruler for scraping the shaving cream off the paper. Now, first, you need to use the pencil to write your name and code on the back of all four white papers. It's very important that you do this because you will not be able to take this home today. These artworks will have to dry first before you take them. So in order to get them back, you need your name on them. Also, it's important to get it done first so that you don't get the pencil all messy while we're working with the shaving cream. After your name and code is on all of the papers, it's time to pick some colors to put on the shaving cream. You can use any colors you want. I just want to show you a couple of good mixtures. Blue and red makes purple. Red and yellow makes orange. We already have green. And if you add a little blue to the green, it will make a turquoise color. And you can also mix yellow and green together to make a light green. So that's what's gonna happen when you mix those colors together. Once you know that, try to make a smart decision about what colors to use and put four or five drops of every color you want. food coloring, take your fork and gently swirl the colors together. It's so amazing to watch the colors mix and I love what happens here to mine. It looks like a party to me, like a big birthday cake party. That's what I'm getting from my colors. Change the way that you swirl it from side to side to up and down. It makes different designs. And then take one of the papers and lay it down flat onto the shaving cream with your name facing up. And do a little tap dance with your fingers all around the shaving cream pile. You can kind of see the design coming through the paper. Then slowly peel it off of the tray and scrape that shaving cream off with a ruler. You need to lay the ruler flat on the table with the edge and slowly, gently scrape that extra shaving cream off the paper to reveal a beautiful, marbled, colorful, crazy, abstract design. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Get rid of the shaving cream on the ruler by scraping it back into the tray. You're going to use the tray again for your other three pieces of paper in just a second. Let's take a closer look at this beauty. Wow, I don't know what it is, but I like it a lot. I'm going to put it safely in the drying rack and work on the other three papers. I don't need any more food coloring. There's plenty of food coloring in there. All I need to do is swirl it with the fork, lay the paper on it, and then scrape it off with the ruler. When you're all done, you need to put all the messy stuff into the sink, the ruler, the fork, and the tray. The food coloring 
will go back on your basket, your table basket. Then we're definitely gonna clean our hands and wipe the tables. And next time, when you come back, you will get your four beautiful abstract shaving cream prints. Let's take a look at all of mine. They're all very different. You can pick your favorite here. My favorite, I think, is the first one I did because the colors are so fresh. But I also like all of the other three as well. Very beautiful. I think if I would have used one less color, if I wouldn't have used yellow, then my prints wouldn't have turned out so brown. But I still really like them. And I hope you had a great time creating them as well. Great job winning another art party and can't wait for the next one.